Investor confidence is stabilising in Germany, according to the latest ZEW index. Sentiment rose fractionally to 36.4 points in May, but the reading still fell short of expectations from the consensus of a rise to around 39.5 points. Joining me down the line to give his interpretation of the findings is Christian Schultz from Berenberg Bank. Hello Christian. Now, we know that an unusually long winter delayed Germany's recovery from a slump in the final quarter of 2012. But despite mostly positive economic data from the German economy, the ZEW indicator remains at the level of the previous month. Why would you say this is the case? Well, German investors remain optimistic overall, uh, but the optimism hasn't really increased very much. Uh, it means that uh, German investors remain uh, cautious uh, despite some improvements in the world, in the US and in other major export markets, and some receding risk within the Eurozone with Italy improved and Cyprus improved. There has been a suggestion that the ECB sets interest rates to suit the German economy rather than setting a level of rates more appropriate to the much more depressed economies elsewhere in the Eurozone. What do you make of this? Germany is 30% of the Eurozone's economy, so its economy plays a bigger role than any other country in the ECB's rate setting, uh, for one. And the other is that the ECB has to take extra care with political support from Berlin, uh, because some of the measures that the ECB has been taking, especially the OMT, um, the safety net that the ECB announced last year, um, it really depends on support from Berlin, um, the, the one government that really backstops uh, the Eurozone. So the ECB indeed uh, sometimes seems to cater uh, for Germany a little more than for other countries. At the same time, uh, interest rates are probably lower um, already uh, than they should be if Germany was uh, on its own. So in that sense, the ECB is certainly not just doing uh, monetary policy for, uh, the, the, for, for Germany. And many of the initiatives that the ECB has taken over the years uh, of euro crisis uh, have exclusively uh, benefited the, uh, the crisis countries. So the ECB is trying to strike a balance here. Some German companies have turned to faster growing markets abroad to compensate for weaker sales at home. But do you, you think that the export market will pick up quickly enough to support an economic recovery? Or is consumption still key? I'm expecting that uh, this year German domestic demand will be the driver of growth. The fundamental situation for German domestic demand is very good in terms of consumption. We have very low unemployment rates, we have low inflation, we have rising uh, real incomes that should support a consumption. And also in terms of investment of companies, the other big component of domestic demand, uh, the borrowing costs for companies are very low. Uh, the confidence that the Eurozone will stay together is improving. So uh, the outlook for domestic demand is particularly, is particularly good uh, in 2013 and also for the next few years and it is exports uh, which uh, may weigh on the German uh, economic outlook at the moment for two reasons. One is that we have still have the weakness in southern Europe, uh, an important export market for Germany, and the other is that we have strong competition at the moment, especially from Japan where uh, the money printing of the central bank has lowered the exchange rate of uh, the yen by so much that, uh, especially in terms of car manufacturing but also electric equipment um, Germany, German companies will find it more difficult on key markets such as China or the US. Some analysts have said the readings show investors are neither dazzled with the recent data or the ECB rate cut, but are content that the German economy will stabilise. Is this in line with your forecast, Christian? It is. Uh, we expect uh, Germany's economy to rebound from the weak uh, fourth quarter. Tomorrow we will find out uh, when uh, we get the GDP data uh, how big the rebound was in the first quarter. But all the indications are that uh, Germany had a, a little V-shaped uh, rebound in the first quarter. And we also expect Germany to return to grand trend uh, growth rates over uh, the rest of this year. There might be a, f a few more wobbles uh, in the second quarter data. Um, because Cyprus and Italy, uh, that uncertainty um, has weighed on confidence a little bit. But towards the end of the year, also with the Eurozone uh, exiting recession, we're expecting Germany to do quite well. So in that sense, we're in line with uh, most of the financial analysts who responded to the ZEW survey, uh, survey that uh, German growth prospects over the next few months will be improving. The euro came under pressure on Tuesday in early deals as the disappointing survey results dragged stocks and currencies lower. But what is your outlook for the single currency moving forwards? 
Well, uh, the euro um, has two uh, factors uh, at the moment that uh, influence its value. Uh, one is uh, the uh, eurozone confidence crisis. Uh, whenever that's uh, receding, uh, the euro is usually um, strengthening, and, and whenever there is addition, additional uncertainty, um, the euro is weakening. And the other is the monetary policy outlook. Um, so uh, the ECB, whenever it's becoming more dovish in its language, um, will lead to a lower euro and whenever it's becoming more hawkish, uh, it leads to a, a, a higher euro. Um, we think that uh, both uh, the euro crisis um, will be fading further, so that should be euro positive, and also the ECB will be uh, less uh, dovish at future meetings uh, since the economy should be improving, and that should also be uh, euro positive. So uh, from a domestic standpoint of view, the euro should be strengthening. And then the question is, uh, will uh, the Fed, the, the major counterpart, uh, the, the American central bank tighten its policies um, earlier or later? If the Fed uh, stops QE or tamp tapers uh, QE a little earlier than people expect, then uh, that could lead to dollar strength and obviously mean that the euro would weaken again. Um, but for, for the time being, by the end of the year, we expecting the euro to be slightly stronger than where it is now. So our point forecast for the end of the year is 135 to the dollar. Christian, thank you. Well, that's all from Christian and myself. Click back to Dukoskopi TV for exclusive interviews and the latest market news. Goodbye for now.